Hey ladies, how are you today? Danielle Cotis here. And I'm starting something really new here and I'm getting really vulnerable and I'm really nervous right now to be sharing this with you. Um, I have decided that I'm going to share with you. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm gonna share with you my struggle and recovery from PMADS perinatal mood disorders, uh, postpartum depression and anxiety. And I'm gonna share with you my story and I don't know how long this is gonna take, um, but I'm gonna start doing daily videos where, oh my God, I'm so nervous, where I'm going to be completely open with you about my experience with PMADS from pregnancy to postpartum depression and anxiety and um, where I am now. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Danielle Cotis. I am a mom coach. I coach moms how to let go of the guilt, gain more energy, and kick that anxiety and depression to the curb. And I specialize in helping moms who are struggling with postpartum depression and anxiety heal naturally. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, so this is a book. I know it's backwards. It says 100 reasons to panic about having a baby. I received this at my baby shower. In hindsight, this probably wasn't the best book to start journaling in. <laughs> and who the F writes this? <laughs> who publishes this book and then who buys it for another person? <laughs> um, however crazy this is, I um, am thankful that I have it. Um, but it basically gives you everything inside that's why you should panic um, about having a baby. It's a journal for the knocked up. Um, like the first one is, number one, you can't even keep a plant alive. How will you take care of a baby? Plants don't cry when they're hungry. Babies do. That's really reassuring. So what I'm going to do is I have a lot of stuff written down in this journal, and it's really personal, and I'm going to share that with you um, because I think it's really important that as moms um, that are struggling out there or you don't know what you have or you don't know why you feel this way, that you are not alone that other people are experiencing this and that there's more moms experiencing it. And I really want you to know that I understand you and that somebody else out there is experiencing what you're experiencing and that you can recover and that it is possible for you to heal. But I want you to feel understood. I want you to to feel supported and understood in every way possible. So that's why I'm sharing you um, my journey. So over, I don't even know how long this is gonna take, I'm going to read from my journal for you guys. Um, also, at certain points, I'm sure I'll ad lib about experiences that I had, um, but this is really personal for me, and I would love to hear your stories if you resonate with this. So, the first one, September 28th, 2015. I'm currently 28 weeks pregnant, just entered the third trimester, and I'm completely terrified of having a child. I'm terrified of being a bad mom not having a life, not sleeping, and not having time with my partner, and not having time for myself. I think I'm a little less scared than I have been in the past couple months, but I still am concerned. I'm struggling with my body changes and are not looking forward to getting any bigger. It's a strange feeling being pregnant. I have feelings of overwhelming joy and excitement and feelings of panic and extreme anxiety about everything. It's hard to explain to others how I'm feeling because my feelings change minute by minute and day by day. So far, I've had a, a wonderful pregnancy. No morning sickness, no complications, no medical problems, thank God. However, I pee every five seconds. I have heartburn all the time. I have trouble sleeping, trouble pooping, and sitting and standing for long periods of time. I just finished reading The Shit No One Tells You, the book, The Shit No One Tells You. It was funny as well as really eye-opening into my soon-to-be baby journey. The book has given me some insight of raising a baby, the good and the bad. However, I don't really think anything can prepare me for what's about to come. But I think it will be an exciting, stressful, and amazing experience. Right now, I'm trying to take advantage of having no children. Sleeping, relaxing, and bonding with my husband as much as I can. I'm also trying to get all of my to-do lists out of the way before they don't get um, done at all. 
It's really an odd thing trying to relax and get things done at the same time. <laughs> On a completely different note, I'm so excited to welcome a, a mini version of my husband to the world. We finally found out we're having a boy and I was totally ecstatic. I knew it was a boy from the very beginning and I'm so thrilled that it is one. I'm hoping that he'll be everything I imagined him to be. P.S. He is. And more. I'm not sure what I'll use this journal for just yet, but I have a feeling it will be jam-packed with angry and loving feelings and stories. I hope to show this to my children one day, or maybe not, depending on the context of it. Can't wait to meet the little guy. So this is just one journal entry, and I just wanted to share that with you for today, and I will be back tomorrow with another journal entry. Um, please let me know if you've resonated with this while you were pregnant and if it brought some emotions up. Um, and so my hope is that as I share day by day with you guys, that you will um, feel something, that you will feel um, like you're not alone, that you're understood, that somebody else has gone through something that you have. And please share with your friends and your mom friends and let them know that they're not alone and um, that this isn't their fault and that there's things that you can do to get help. Um, but for right now, just stay tuned uh, for my diary and please like the unfamiliar mom at Instagram like me on Facebook my fan page the unfamiliar mom and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can get all my tips and tricks on motherhood thank you ladies